come on, behave yourself. Right. Hello. We want to know about a 67. There you go. Right. Now, to cover all this deal, because a lot of it happened so fast, I've compiled these clips together. I'm going to do a breakdown of these clips. And then jump back out and I'm going to react and go over a clip that was released because it's kind of because the thing is I did actually have a theory about how um, uh, what do you call it how the film was going to start or you know defend the strangers part in it <clears throat> and my guess was right from the clip that was released and the briefing that came with the clip um, actually I don't need these on do I you can't see and there's no point right <clears throat> so these are TV spots and more clips from Doctor Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. For saying, do what? I think I make it a little bit smaller because then we get I get deep. But some interesting stuff as well. I've noticed as well because apart from leaks, uh, leaks confirmed. There's some interesting things, whether it's intentional or not. Because sometimes, yeah, in terms of, I mean. Archery, I'll get to it in a minute. You'll see, I mean, there's a bit of, a bit of floor design, which is interesting, because it reminds me of Sank that I've covered in my videos that are non-Marvel related. So is that recording okay? Let's do this. Have a look. Stephen Strange. The Illuminati will see you. You can travel the multiverse. Yep. What is grief? True. If not love, persevering. You know number one of multiversal travel? You don't know anything. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. This is going to be fun. So, let's go for that clip again. Stephen Strange. The Illuminati will see you. Illuminati confirmed. You can travel the multiverse. Yep. What is grief? True. Oh, 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 do you see it? I did a video on this. Multiverse. Yep. What is Come on. There you go. Bam. Shabang. Shabang. The Living Tribunal. See, I wonder what they're doing there because there's a bit. This is the interesting as well. You can't see it in this one. There's a bit. Let's course, it's one of those things where she is, we can see it, but she can't see it. Because there's a bit where she's flying through there, and you see these again, but with Doctor Strange, it's like they're observing. You know what I mean? Because they, the Living Tribunal is in charge of monitoring and keeping balance within the multiverse and stuff like that. I mean. So, yeah. See, that's interesting well because it's, there's a fight scene between um, him and Sinister Strange. But there's something interesting about that fight scene that we don't really see much more on. We just see in one of the later clips. I think hopefully it's if it's on the later clips. There's a bit where he's looking a bit uh, at the camera. Like Sank surprised him or shocked him. But there is a clip that has the same blast like Scarlet, which is doing a jazz hands, as Fastbender would call it, with the Magneto. He was like, like that. 
Oh, she's blasting Strange back, but she isn't blasting the Prime Strange back. She's blasting at <coughs> Sinister Strange. And I think it's also in another clip on this. Okay, like, like, there's a bit where he's absorbing the energy. So either he's surprised because of Wanda or he's surprised because of his counterpart. Or because there's a, a thing like this. You see, like, um, it looks like he's using the spell of Icon. Where... Because it looks like multiple him are going vroomp like that into himself. Really bizarre. Unless, of course, he absorbs into a strange. We don't know. He could, he could do a supreme strange, but on his other counterparts to um, sort this mess out. Who knows? Um, it's interesting there because she's trying to push the demons away. Those demons. Envelop the zombie strange. Oh, here we go. Look, Captain Carter. As we all saw in the poster, the shield confirmed. People keep saying, right, I don't, oh God, it gets worse. I know, look, I, I was wrong about the glowing figure. Although saying that, not to say that um, Iron Man isn't in it. There's a rumour that they're cutting him out and leaving him until post-credits. Um, basically, the Illuminati's get basically because his bot his robots are there i suppose it makes sense i suppose because they've got a genius um i don't know i don't know why they will probably explain it but i'm hoping it's not too true you know give him some screen time at least because he he got the ultron bots but um there was a rumor that's going to get cut out and he's going to be at the end where he contacts strange or strange contacts him about creating a new illuminati sort of thing um because apparently they want to also do a Midnight Suns film. But someone was saying this is not Captain uh, Captain Carter. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Okay, I was wrong about the glowing figure, but a lot of us were. And also, to be fair, Marvel are about misdirect. Because some of those clips, it looked like a white guy in armour. It didn't look feminine or anything like that. Because it had Tom Cruise's head and uh, Rambo's face. Yeah, I mean, it looked weird. So, and plus, I I never put stock into four K, so called four K enhanced resolution, especially if it's from a flying object. Because to be fair, now to be fair, people also did say, and you can tell they were genuinely confused because they did say there's two figures in this because one you can see one's Iron Man, and two the other one's not Iron Man. If that makes sense, you mean? Because I'm pretty sure there's one with a headband there. I could be wrong. Or it's people saying it's this doesn't make sense to have Captain Marvel in it. Um, personally, I got not being horrible, but I don't. I think it's a big. I think that's a. I don't. Uh, it's not going to ruin the film for me because the film was going to be epic regardless. But I'm like, really? It's, if they're following the Spider-Man No Way Home thing, and it's the Illuminati. You got to have Iron Man. Don't matter if it's Tom Cruise, because the thing is, the reason why you can get a bit of a twitter with Tom Cruise is because you know that he was going to be originally cast, so it fits with that narrative. Um, they got, uh, is it John John Cranston or something? There's going to be like the new Mr. Fantastic. Why have new actors? This is what annoys me. That's my only thing with it. Peggy Carter, we know from Captain America. And what if? So it makes sense why she's there, because of what if? Yeah. Um, why have Ramboa? She's not. She only had one appearance. She's not that big a character. No offense to the, the actress or the char the character. I mean, yeah, I thought she was good. One division, but it's she's not. If it's following the formula, this is my only issue. With it. If it's following the formula of what, it, um, sorry, No Way Home, it's got to have the OG actors. So I can't remember his name now. But he played. Was it he played Hornblower and things like that, the original one in the eighties? The OG Mister Fantastic. You've got to have him. Be a travesty not to. It does because I don't know who the new actor is, who's supposed to be for the, Mr. Fantastic. I have no idea who he is. People only know him for the fact that he's being cast as the new Mr. Fantastic going forward. But that's not the point. This is supposed to be following the No Way Home. They said this is going to follow the No Way Home thing because everyone like OG stuff. You've got Professor X, OG Professor X. Why have new Mister Fantastics? It's not quite Spider Man No Way Home, is it? 
if you only got Professor X. But then again, and they did say, because don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binaries, don't forget, as everyone has pointed out while watching these clips, they're giving away a lot so far. Or have they? The big surprises could be yet in store. Because don't forget, they released that train scene where he's up against Spider-Man No Way Home, where he's doing a... It's like, can we talk to Silver Mr. Uh, Stephen Strange, you know? And it's like, that going on. But they... But they dropped the... The, the Spider-Man was a bombshell, because they edited it out. You know I mean? They dropped stuff on us, so like, whoa! And I've got a feeling they do it this. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, that's Peg, that is Peggy Carter, sorry. That's not anyone else. Oh, Peggy... Uh, someone said it was Hawk, Hawk, Hawkman. It's not Hawkman, you spaniel. It's got a female body, female ass, and as the meme says, Captain America's going, you looking at Britain's ass. You know what I mean? And the actual jetpack is Howard Stark technology. The fact she's fighting one day, and it's a room that she kicks out all their asses and stuff. And this fits with the rumour. Because there's like, there was two speculated leaks. One was um, you know, Illuminati Assemble, sort of thing the alarms go off when he's um um got handcuffed and he's like you know assemble or whatever or you know stand or yeah you know, there's a rumor that he says you can either stay or fight or leave but it looks like because you got the uh and well the thing is this is the other thing as well just because captain marvel's in it or a version of she ain't necessarily a member of the illuminati that's what people this is the other slip up they're making now because they forget more do wasn't is not part of the Illuminati was a fort first fort. It looks like he was like a sort you know, he handles the prisoners, as it were, with the Ultron bots, because he walks into the door and then he goes through to the Illuminati. So we still haven't seen the Illuminati yet. Because don't forget, just like the Guardians of the Multiverse and what if you still had the sub parts because they went back to their own universes so you still had the avengers from their universes so there are going to be elements of avengers from other universes of a variance of avengers and fantastic four and the x-men because of mr fantastic and professor x but yeah captain marvel is not going to be a member of the illuminati you're just that's the bombshells we haven't been hit yet i reckon that's the bombshell and i reckon even if he gets five minutes in you know like tom cruise's character um, or sees him sat on a chair but he has more activity like you know because it wouldn't make sense about Formula Union Lightning plus <clears throat> where's you know it's also Secret Wars Iron Man's going to be in Secret Wars well how the hell are you going to do that Robert Jr. is not going to come back but if you have Tom Cruise doing it and he's been recruited by um, uh, Doctor Strange I mean why wouldn't you recruit Tony Stark you know, it doesn't matter what you it's like um, the line that Picard's Patrick, or another character that Patrick Stewart plays in the, another TV series. Um, it's what it's like Captain Picard said about Commander Data. He goes, you're a genius in any timeline. So in any universe, why would you not get Tony Stark? You know what I mean? We need an Iron Man. Well, shit, we haven't got Iron Man. He's dead. Ah, but I know Iron Man from Earth. Da 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 You know what I mean? It just makes sense. Anyway, I, prog I, I digress. You don't know anything. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. Oh, and in that. Anything. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange. I'll move this a bit. And yes, as everyone stated, or spotted, <coughs> he's wearing the green suit, which was in the 80s cartoon, which I grew up watching. And he's got the chair. You know, um. Ding, 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 ding. And you know, oh, epic. Oh man. <clears throat> well, that'd be a buzzkill, don't it? Okay. Yeah, you know, foreboding, wouldn't it? Really. So, on to your variant. Oh, well, he his psychological condition was a bit, uh, a bit postal when he killed all the X Men. <clears throat> well, the people in that group, but yeah. Because the thing is, and this is why I say it's not impossible for Logan to be in this because. Patrick Stewart said that in the film Logan, that was going to be the last time he was going to ever come back as Professor X. But 
you can get away with that because it's a different variant. This is why I reckon in some point in the future you could bring back Robert Downey Jr. Because I got I me, mean, I got a really good idea for that, of how to do that. Um, I won't say on here because I don't want people nicking it. I don't want anyone nicking it. If Disney want my idea, they can give me a phone call. But it's a way around it. It's to do with similar outcomes and except you know what I mean similar. Same person in a way, but different outcome in their universal timeline. And there's a way you could get around it. But anyway. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. And that's interesting as well, because it's like... At first, because also I suppose it's because like if... Again, I reckon there is still uh, the variant of Doctor Strange who's the bad guy. Wanda isn't going to be the bad guy. She's going to have a funny five minutes, as it were. Because also, and there's one bit where she's taken away, it looks like she's breaking him out of prison. Um, but there are said to be various variants, because various variants, that's a mouthful, a little tongue twister. Because I, I did actually notice, because if you look at her uniform there, it is dark red because it gets corrupted by the magic. But there's one that says to Stephen, who I think is probably like you see like a flashback to Sinister Strange, because there's one where she's wearing a more dark black outfit, and you got Stephen Strange studying the dark old, and she's like, "Don't destroy the multiverse, Stephen." And he goes, "Zoop!" with the book like bang with the chaos magic, and that window behind him is the same window that was in Sinister Strange's house. The furniture is all the same, if that makes sense. It's not the Prime Strange. I don't know. Could we speculate, buddy? going to be fun. Oh, see that bit? Oh, where is it? That, that, my friends, is interesting. If you go back on my videos, where do you recognise that shape? Um, da, da, da. Where is it? Oh, is it my bracelet? God, I don't know if you see it. Where are you, Liebchen? Let's see if I got it. Ah, I've got a poster of it. You know. It's that, baby. It looks very much like Metatron's Cube, which I think is very fascinating. Makes sense as well when it comes to certain things considering what it represents and all that stuff but yeah I spotted that it was like very interesting hmm yeah it was very interesting Metron's cube there what's rule number two and that bit with the shards that looks like the mirror like strange trying to chuck in the mirror thing or something or because that looks like the mirror uh, dimension do you know the wall sip going in it's like <laughs> convex or the concave of it yeah anyway, anyway then, yeah And that that's the other bit I like, and here's because this is this is this is quite interesting because this is the the red herring or the throw off as it were, because we thought that the zombies was actually ten, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, and Hollywood, by definition, that's not a zombie. It's that's a if you go and look at the description, I mean, I know I, I can't remember it word for word, but basically that fits more of a lich plus it's necromancy as well so it's more of a lich so that's actually a lich version of Doctor Strange <clears throat> but anyway we all thought that was bad the evil and they're all fighting off the things but Defender Strange who's come back as a lich as is holding off these dark forces and it's, I love that bit where it goes, Wong's like, oh, not more Doctor Strangers. How many variants are there? You know what I mean? And it's also on the same cliff. Um, so that's interesting. Because it's either Defender Strange comes back, who's, no, respawned himself, but he's like, uh, okay, this didn't quite work. I'm undead. Um, or it could be Strange Astral Projecting. Because it can't be Sinister, because they said Sinister Strange might be doing it, but it can't be Sinister Strange because... 
unless of course Sinister Strange is a goodie as well. It might, be, it could be still the what ifs of Spring Strange, but there's a fight going on. The thing, that's the thing, there's so much misdirect in these trailers, we don't know. But the interesting thing is, the fact is, whoever's using that body, whether it be Defender or Stephen Strange, or Sinister Strange, they're fighting off the demons. So it's like using the corpse as cannon fodder, essentially. You know what I mean? Which is kind of clever. It's like, he's already dead, he's not going to miss it. You know what I mean? And again, he's saying the lines from, and that is not because they said I was from Endgame game those lines, which it is, but the camera's face on. And also, the it's interesting because he says the same lines in Spider-Man: No Home. He has a tendency to say a lot, thing. You know, that's the way. It's like Stephen. You opened the doorway to the multiverse on May sixth. We don't know who or what the watch for it. See that bit there where he shoots the energy at him? It's your ear. And he's like, there's a bit where it looks like it gets out of hand, and he's like, Rrr. he does like a supreme. What's the supreme? That's such a shish, 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 shish. So, spr- fucking hell. Can't speak English. Supreme Strange did with the energy in what if he's like, Rrr. he does that in another clip coming up. Um, which might explain the surprise look on Sinister Strange's face. He's like, "Well, oh, okay." Because again, I think you also that the Scarlet Witch, the bad Scarlet Witch, and the bad Strange could be all in the head, like the magic trying to corrupt them. Is another idea because it's supposed to be all over the place in terms of mind flips and all kinds of ideas. But mm, I still don't. I still don't. I still don't think one is the big bad. This film, like, don't forget, it's like, it's like Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes, Doctor Strange was in that, but it was all about Spider-Man. That was Spider-Man's film. It's the same with Doctor Strange. It is said the Scarlet Witch will get her own film. Not be funny, I've got nothing against Wonder. I love, I love Wonder, but it just gets on my nose. This is a film about Stephen Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. This is a Doctor Strange film for crying out loud. Stop being obsessed about Wanda. It's like seriously, it's like this is no, it's part of a story arc. So I reckon the big bad is a version of him. Because don't forget, this is see, this is the other thing that makes me laugh. <clears throat> As people forget these little deals, because I mean, it, it, um, because he's dangerous, it, it could be they they put him, they arrested him because. They're not a bit uncertain. It's just precaution, yeah? And it could be that they need him to fight Wanda. But at the same time, they captured him because he's a threat to the the multiverse. Because don't forget, if they're observing the universe, then it's kind of like, really? It's like, they're they're watching each uh, threat... You, um, but then again, it, this is what makes you, I think, they, my only problem with that idea, that theory, is then why would the directors leave out Supreme Strange? It would, wouldn't it not make sense? I mean, even to have him on the Illuminati makes perfect sense. You know what I mean? Um, because he destroyed an entire universe. He destroyed his own universe so he could bring back Christine Palmer. Why would you not apprehend him or, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Wanda's gonna be the bad person because it's kind of like, like I said, I think she'll probably have a funny five minutes. I think they're both. I think she's been manipulated by the Dark Hold, like in Shang Chi, where his father was being manipulated by the Dark Force. But this is a Doctor Strange film. You know what I mean, she's gonna be. She's the support. She's like you said. We need an Avenger. He didn't get any other bloody Avenger, did he? He went and. Um, Got wonder. Stephen Strange. This Friday. That Barry jumps out the window is. Oh no, we've got. Sorry, watch it first. Sorry. <laughs> it's about time we showed up. For the multiverse of madness. You're welcome. Marvel Studios Doctor Strange. For the multiverse of. This Friday. Black, yeah, that's epic, yeah. That. <clears throat> 
sorry, I might as well mention it now before I forget. But yeah, basically, as you as you saw the trailer, you know, you've got Defender Strange running. Also, again, that place contains the Book of Fashani, which is very interesting. Um, it's also, it's like, why would you take him back to that area if it's going to be dangerous for things there? Hmm. But yeah, but you see him running, and as I thought of, I reckon he's going <coughs> to... Uh, they're going to fight this creature thing, whatever it's called. We're fighting, we don't know yet. We're not sure, unsure yet. You know, the um, te <coughs> tendril creature. Um, Defense Strange is going to save um, America Chavez. He's going to say, look, I can't hold this thing back. Wallop sends her off into a portal because he can do that travel as well. <coughs> and um, there's an explosion. His body goes spiraling off into some <coughs> um, other multi uh, other universe. Uh, basically, where he ends up wherever that temple place is, because that's where his body gets reanimated. She ends up here. <coughs> she ends up on the, the, the main, uni uh, main Earth. <coughs> and there's the wedding. The wedding occurs. And... He hears the commotion. He jump. He leaves the wedding, jumps out the window, suits up, and then you have that fight. This fight, which we'll get to watch later as well, which is really cool. About time you showed up for the multiverse of madness. You're welcome. But that does fit in with my my bit of my my bit to that was basically I thought well, Defense Strange is going to save her at the start of the film. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And that was my take on it. And it's like. You know, and people are like, oh yeah, but he he might be in the film longer than that though because his merchandise is on the poster. Well, no, he's still in integral. He's still an integral character. You know what I mean? He's still a variant. You know, mm, by me. Mm. Feels Doctor Strange. Stephen Strange. This Friday, nothing can prepare you. It's about time you showed up for the multiverse of madness. You're welcome. Marvel Studios Doctor Strange because there's that because again there's that clip in there where he's like firing the dragons out of his hand because there was a there's a rumour in one of the leaks um, and I know, I know we, uh, we have we've got, yes there's been people saying oh these bloody leaks fed up these leaks yeah but don't forget the trailers confirmed the leaks didn't they despite the fact we haven't seen Iron Man yet but that could be a big surprise it would make no sense to have Ultron bots without... I know he, people going, oh yeah, but it was Hank Pym who invented them in the comics. Yeah, but it was Tony Stark who invented them in the MCU. Remember Age of Ultron? He had the Ultron Sentinel bot things, but they were taken over by uh, Ultron. Um, they were being built in the process of being built. <clears throat> um, so it's like, it just wouldn't, it just, just wouldn't make sense yeah, plus he's part of the Illuminati. Um, you'll probably have Carter and Ramboa as like people they call, you know, because you still got the Illuminati, but each people have, like I said, got factions. So Mr. Fantastic, he's on the Illuminati, but he still has his team. He's, you know, he hasn't, they don't leave their teams, um, in other words. You know what I mean? Professor X will still, is still leading the X Men. It's just on the side, he's a member of the Illuminati. It's like a secret thing behind the secret. They're wondering what happens now. The Illuminati will see you, Stephen. Oh, that's something. The multiverse. Oh, that's something. The multiverse. Stop. Oh, that's something. See, to be fair, though, I mean, okay, she's probably got flight goggles on, but it's um, or a headset. But to be fair, when you first saw it there was just a headband and people go yeah but it wouldn't they don't it doesn't look like don't forget to be fair on everyone who said it was iron man like i did the armor looks iron man-ish and don't forget if it's a superior iron man he's got three infinity stones so that means he could fly like her you know what i mean that's why they're saying that there's two shots there's one of her like that and there's one of someone like activating a stone or a tesseract or something and flying up 
because it wouldn't make sense if, if he tag came, you know, interjected because um, all his bots are getting destroyed. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. See here. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. See, he looks really surprised there, doesn't he? I do like he's got Fu Manchu look as well. Vincent Price, that's it. Again, back to the old Vincent Price. Just looking at his costume a bit more as well. He's got more better lighting. He also, to be fair, he actually looks older as well, doesn't he? He looks like an older um, Doctor Strange. But he has that sort of look of surprise. Like, can anyone in films that get stabbed or something? Like, oh, he has that sort of look, which is interesting. But he's fighting. Uh, there's a bit where he's fighting Wonder, so it could be Wonder that is surprising. See it there? Oh, there's, there's two bits there. The, the deep, this is the infancy. Kind of like I said, there could be a bit where she goes mental because the demons that she... She's a bit where she can out of demons to try and fight them off. But here's where those demons come from. Although it's kind of interesting because he's holding them off at the same time. Strange you are. And this, of course, he purges him from his body. I don't know. Do you see that bit? He's like, uh, uh, uh. that's interesting. See, either he's absorbing Sinister Strange, or the Sinister Strange is trying to absorb him. Because um, oh, that's right, yeah. Because what? Sorry, what I was going to get to. In one of the leaked rumors, there was a variant, possibly Sinister Strange, going around doing a Supreme Strange, but instead of doing all the creatures, he's just going. I'll just go straight to the source, baby, and goes around absorbing variants. And the one that's got the dragons firing at his hands. This place B was uh, allegedly apparently S Supreme Strange who gets absorbed or killed or whatever, but mm, I don't know. But it's just that bit that reminds me of Supreme Strange, the dragon's out of hand. It's, it's, mm. it's a shame he's not in it. It's multiverse. He got Captain. The thing is, he got Captain Carr in it. Why is he. He might be in it, I don't know. It could be a bombshell. I mean, that would be kicking arse, though, if you. If, like, um, because seeing that Supreme Strange's got nothing to live for, in a way, because his universe is right. I'm just, would be surprised if he did the opposite of absorbing, like put himself in the main strange, because it'd be a badass then. I mean, he's powerful as it is. He took on Infinity Stones and God knows what. But I mean. PG thirteen, see the premium large formats in IMAX only in theaters Friday. PG thirteen, as in because it's a horror film. See the premium large formats in IMAX only in theaters Friday. Wondering what happens now. of multiversal travel, you don't know anything. Jump! The multiverse is dangerous. See, there's a scene like jump. That's the intro bit I was thinking about. See, that looks like he's controlling those things and they attack Wanda. It's really interesting. Unless, when he's doing that, oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because the bit she gets shrouded up and she breaks free, but that could be him going and controlling them. You know what I mean? Like Rafe's like using them to envelop her and he's like holding her like that. Hmm, could be. Hmm. Also interesting to note, and yep, like many have pointed out, he's using purple magic like Agatha, <coughs> Agatha Hark Harkness. Which is like dark, not chaos magic, but dark magic. Friday. 
wondering what happens now. One of multiversal travel, you don't know anything. Sure. The multiverse, it's dangerous. Yeah, is it? <clears throat> Because it looks like they're heading towards the book of Ashanti. So, it does make you think why she take them back there if that creature's there. You know what I mean? And she's putting the Christine Palmer of that Illuminati place at Eurus as well, because it's her, Christine Palmer. Because um, they're saying she's been cut out. Well, no, she's still in it. You can see in the other clips. And she stood in that world where the book is. And there's a bit of uh, photos where you see the, him look up for the book. So they do make it to the book. But, yeah, it's interesting. Because why would you take him back to such a dangerous place? Um, yes. Yeah. Because Defender Strange is quite... He's quite powerful. See, there you go. There's the Book of Ashanto. Epic! <clears throat> All right, so here we go. So, let's go back to the thing. And here's also, as I put it together. <clears throat> and there's a few bits that I noticed. Right, so, you've got the bit of the Defender Strange going on. They try to escape. He can't hold it off. Bang. She gets flung through the, the multiverse. Ends up here. Looking for help. Um... Sorry, she ends up here, cut to the wedding, and incidentally, when they did the read over, they actually said when they did the briefing at this gathering, I can't remember it's called like Comic Con or something when they showed it. They actually said it's Shumagora if they didn't say Gigantos. It is confirmed. Mind you, I could have, I, just, I said I could have told you that. They did it. I mean a lot of people who've been paying attention will tell you that that it's because I'm not saying you haven't, but I'm just saying those who weren't quite aware, but it's because of licensing reasons, that's why they had to call the merchandise Gargantos, but it is, it is Shumagorath. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so basically he, she escapes, wedding happens, he hears commotion, jumps out the window, like saw a trailer, 
and he sees this commotion going on. <clears throat> and there's something interesting about the eye of Magami Moto, I noticed in this well, is in, in it, right where the stone, because the thing is, when it opens up, there'll be just a hole where the stone is, but there's actually a gold sphere there. And it, it does sink in this bit, which is very much reminiscent of the comics. See, I mean, again, that glows gold as well. But yeah, it's got. A, if you if you ever see a close up of it, it's actually where the hole is, where the stone sits. There's a little golden globe thing. Um, but that's what it did in the, <clears throat> the comics, where it revealed the invis invisible. If you couldn't see something, or if you needed to unravel the truth, the eye of Ag Agamotto would go, you know, reveal it. You know what I mean? Which is a nice touch. It's a comic thing. And plus, they moved the pendant up a bit, so it's more up here. Um, around the cloak, yeah. So it's comic book. They're getting into the comics accurate, which is, which I is reason why I'm not surprised because they've done it with the Professor X. So Sam Raimi, well done, well done, my lad, well done. Also, is it just me? You can't really see from here, but he hasn't got scars on his hands. Could it be another variant? Who knows? Because it's going to be mad. See what it did there? <clears throat> oh, yeah, he has got scars. So right, this bit here, this is the second clip they use. Basically, at some point he gets knocked over and then it chases him and then Wonga turns up. So I know he was he was a master of mystic arts, but to be fair, when he's considering that he started off as a librarian, he's come a long way. Oh yeah, and what my I, I said to uh, uh, Mac, I said to him I said, uh, in Facebook Messenger, I said to him, or I mean. I was over to Mac or Enzo, I said to, um, who I chat about this quite a lot. Um, I don't think he's going to get killed, but I think he's going to, because the way he, when, he's, he's just been for a fight, he gets to the top of the mountain and he sees zombie, uh, lich, yeah, he looks, sees the undead strange. He's like, look mate, I don't want to know. He's like, he's had a really rough day, so I think he might just go, look, if he survives it, I reckon he's just going to go, look mate. This job is getting too much, mate. You can be source of bloody supreme. Because all the stuff we have to keep dealing... You know, I'm just happy being a bloody li librarian. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I can see that happening. Because it's just the comedy value. It's like, sod this. It's like, seriously, I've been through all this. It's like, really? Because by the look of it, he's, he's fed up. He's got to the top of the mountain. It's like, oh, God. Another variant. You know, I just don't want to know. It's like, you know, see a zombie strange. I'll say zombie strange for the heck of it. Lich strange whatever. I'm like, he's like, really? You know what I mean? So I think for comedic value, he'd be like, look, solid, mate, you can be sort of supreme. It's like, really? I'm just, that's just too much. You know what I mean? And it's funny as well. It's funny that way. And I don't see him dying because he's an integral part of the thing. See, and that's why uh, I said it, um, it gets knocked out because the clip was like, because when I saw it, I was like, because some clips they show that bit before him peering up, which didn't make sense. It's like bad editing there. And this bit, there's something interesting about this bit where they go through the multiverse, and that is, if you notice, it's exactly the same straight, the same way the Watcher and Ultra will smash through the uh, dimensions of what if. So, you like Captain Carter, there's elements of what if in this. So watch it. 
Boom, 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 boom. You okay? And that, and that looks like, <coughs> judging by the greenery, that's the place where he's going to see the statue and where they're going to get apprehended by the Illuminati. So yeah, let's say I thought I'd do a breakdown of um, those clips and bits and bobs. Because there's bits there that I wanted to cover because it's like to point and highlight it out. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a shame if they don't have Iron Man in it. Superior Iron Man in it. Because it, se- it would make sense because he's part of Illuminati. But again, like everyone says, and our guesses have been right. Because they've been a bit brave giving a lot away. Because don't forget with Spider-Man, they, Spider-Man in No Way Home, they didn't give it away. They edited it out. So we just had speculation. So they're giving lots and lots away. Um... Not enough to ruin it because it's like the, the train scene from No Way Home. They sent that, they showed that clip out where he's trying to get the box off Spider Man. It didn't ruin the film because we didn't know what context the story was. So yeah, it's looking good though. But yeah, there's also that little thing with Metron's cube on that floor. Interesting. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so it's safe to say a lot of our theories as fans. Again, like I said in the other video, good detective work team, good good work team. So yeah, what do you, what do you think? What have you what have you noticed in these clips that I am uh, covered? I might have covered them in other videos, but you know what I mean. There's a lot to cover. But yeah, I mean, uh, now I haven't got tickets yet, but depends. You know, there's so much going on in my life at the moment. In t- well, not so much, but there's just just the the odd thing. Yeah, just the uh, yeah, it's a long story. You'll you'll find out at some point. But yeah, it's just not uh, at the moment. I just got to try and get on, carry on, do the best I can to carry on. If we have life as as it, is, as it were, um, but yeah, so I probably will go see it at some point. Some might treat me to see it, to see it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looks epic, it looks really good. I can't wait. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think uh, that Cat Kim Carter and uh, Rambo are just uh, supporting characters and that we'll still see the, the main main dog, the Illuminati? So, yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching me. I hope you like it. I hope this video. I hope you like this video and the the, the breakdown or my ideas on it. If you have any ideas of your own or anything you want me to cover of it or talk or go over it or pe- you know strip it to bits and you know etc., then let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like, and if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it would be great to have you here. Until the next video, take care and be well, and I'll see you out there in the multiverse.